So this is a Weddell 10.4 inch twin plate clutch. And uh, as we open this up, you can see we got some cool stickers, important documents, so we'll have to read through those. All right, we have hardware, new bearing, the guide, and you can see the uh, clutch assembly and flywheel. So if you want to know the performance of the clutch, you can see by the chart down here, they are telling us that the average torque holding capacity is 1,336 foot-pounds. They sent in important instructions here. It says, carefully unpack the twin disc clutch system. The new clutch system assembly has been shipped from the factory exactly as it should be installed on your vehicle. Remove the pressure plate assembly from the flywheel and take careful note of the placement of each component. Take note of the six spacers located on the pressure plate studs between the clutch pressure plate and flywheel. Please be sure these spacers remain in place exactly as they were shipped. Install a new clutch pilot bearing supplied where applicable. Let's disassemble this in order of how it should be installed. And we got to pay attention to the six spacers, making sure they get installed exactly as it was shipped. Apparently that's important. Okay, that there. This here. Then that there. Then this here. And here are the spacers, which are kind of glued on for the moment. Well, one. So we got to make sure that these spacers stay exactly as they were shipped. All right, so we'll leave that for now because the first thing we got to do is get a new pilot bearing right here installed. First, we got to remove the old pilot bearing, so we'll put this polar in. If you're interested in getting a polar like this, then uh, check out the links in the description to uh, link to Amazon where you can buy one. This is a bitch. Okay, at this point I'm getting a little frustrated. Who would have thought an aluminum pilot bearing would be so difficult to get out? Something I didn't show in the video is I did pack the hole full of grease and I tried to take a socket about the same diameter as that hole and hit it with a hammer and hydraulically pop that bearing out. Didn't work. So as a last resort, I'm going to drill relief holes around the circumference and hopefully we can get this thing out. Because this thing's being such a pain in the ass, I drilled a whole bunch of relief cuts to hopefully soften it up, and we shall see. Now 
Now that we got that all cleaned up, let's see if we can get the new pilot bearing installed. And that is in. Time to install the f new flywheel. Remember, it said these spacers were very important to leave in the exact position it came with. So we're going to try to make sure those don't fall off. The bolts were supplied by Weddle. You just want to go in a star pattern and drive this on evenly if you've never done it before. Remember, the race doesn't start until the engine's in the car and it's running. Just be patient, take your time. All right, looks like we're at that spot where we need to torque them. Torque on these is supposed to be four passes, 18 foot-pounds, 36 foot-pounds, 52 foot-pounds, and then 74 foot-pounds. So we'll start off with our 18 foot-pounds. Probably won't be much because I got it on pretty even already. And the lowest this thing goes is 20 foot-pounds, so instead of starting at 18, we're going to start at 20. That's 20. 20. Yeah, <clears throat> so I thought I already did 20 foot pounds with my hand tight there. The next is going to be 36 foot pounds. All right, so here's 36 foot pounds. That one turned a little. And that one turned a little. Next, we are going to do 52 foot pounds. Okay, here's 52 foot pounds. And final, 74 foot pounds. Okay, doing the final torque sequence of 74 foot-pounds, I'm just going to do it one more time. We already did it, but I want to go around them again. Flywheel is done. Alright, next thing we're going to install is the drive disc. And this here is the drive disc. And it says floater side. And then the other side says flywheel side. So you can't get it uh, mixed up. So we want this to be on the flywheel side. And I don't think you can see it, but we have a purple mark down here where this drive pin is supposed to line up with that mark. So we'll stick this in. Just like so. And then this is supposed to be lined up with that mark, which it is right there. So these are the marks we got to line up on everything we put together. Next, we install the floater. Right 
there. So that's called the floater. You can see my marks are lined up. Next, you'll notice we have a mark here for floater side. So we want to make sure that's spun on the floater side, which is pretty easy because we got the mark here. So that is our next one. So far, so good. All right, next is the pressure plate. Now it says, install the six pressure plate nuts. Thread locking compound may be used to secure the pressure plate nuts to the flywheel studs if so desired. If using thread locker and pressure plate nuts, use only a small amount of medium blue. Tighten all six pressure plate nuts quarter turn at a time in a crisscross pattern until the plate is completely drawn up to the spacers against the flywheel. Final torque all six nuts 35 to 38 inch pounds. Remove disc alignment tool and install to the transmission. We install the pressure plate. I'm going to use some blue Loctite. Okay, then it says to tighten these 180 apart, kind of a quarter turn at a time, once it's seated. From there, we torque them 35 to 38 foot-pounds, and I've already got the torque wrench set. Alright, that is installed, and now we should be able to install the engine. I'll let you see what I'm seeing. Yeah. It is centered. Well, that about wraps up this video. And if you like what you saw, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, think about subscribing to the channel. Now that we got the clutch installed, it's time to mate the engine to the transmission. And that's coming up in another video. Before I run off, I'd like to give a shout out to Conrad over at Sandcar Crew. If you haven't checked out his YouTube channel, you need to do it. If you're looking for a car, he might have a... Uh, video review of one you may be interested in. Another thing, even if you're not looking for a car, his channel is full of a wealth of information of things that are happening around in the dune community and the off-road community, swap meets, etc. So I'll post a, a link to his channel in my description below. Check them out. And that's it for me for today. We'll see you in the next one.